Today is, uh, is the, the official launch of the Stand Tall campaign and we've got one of the, the, the winning school giraffes arriving by helicopter here at the park and that's really to, to signify um, and kick off the whole, the whole thing which is going to be going on until well late summer this year. Well I'm very proud to be a part of the Stand Tall project um, as I think anybody that considers themselves a part of this wonderful town would be. Um, as the garrison commander, I represent one constituent part of the town and Colchester Zoo, which of course is now um, entering its 50th year, is another very important and very successful constituent part of the town. There are other elements, such as the university, all of which make up a superb town which I would commend to anybody to come and see. The hope is really that people are going to become tourists in their own towns, that they're going to be interested in coming and looking at the giraffes. They're not just in Colchester, they're actually, there's a few based in and around other areas of Essex and the hope is, is that everybody's going to engage with the whole project. Wild and Art is a popular art company and what we do is create amazing events using 3D canvases and we then get local artists to paint those canvases with a whole variety of different uh, artistic interpretations and uh, the result is this amazing artwork that we're seeing today. This is a world first so it's really really exciting. The draft sculpture was created by our creative director Chris Wilkinson and he's done an amazing job and it works as a really really great canvas for the art. And I think it's been fantastic to work with Cultures of Zoo. They obviously have the draft at the zoo themselves, but it really stands out amongst the crowd as well. So in all the drafts are on the streets of Colchester and the outlying towns as well, they really make um, a big statement and a, a real commanding presence in the community. And we've just seen, of course, um, the helicopter from the flight centre delivering Savannah, which is the giraffe that was decorated by Hamilton Primary School and won the prize as decided by Michaela Strachan, the TV presenter. Um, and so Savannah has been delivered and we've just um, linked Savannah up with Stan and it's all been absolutely brilliant. You've got an amazing garrison here, you've got an amazing zoo, you've got amazing history. Um, so it really is a, a fantastic town and uh, I think that the draft really does sum, sum that up. It's Stan Tall, it's be proud, be proud of the town and uh, the, the draft is a real icon for that. Once the campaign is over, um, the drafts are all going to be auctioned off and the money raised from that auction is going to the zoo's charity Action for the Wild which helps to support wildlife charities and its own on Farfa Private Nature Reserve. Well there are in total 112 giraffes that are dotted around Colchester and that in itself bearing in mind the history of Colchester um, would be a wonderful way of being able to follow the trail. There are several options for following the trail. There are printed trail maps that people pick, can pick up from the zoo and various other areas. You'll see on all the, on all the plaques um, there's a QR code, you scan that um, or just go to your, your favourite uh, provider and uh, you can download the app, uh, follow the trail around which also has rewards on there as well so as you go around and see them all, the more giraffes you see the bigger the rewards you get.